what I'm trying to do with this one is I want to leave I don't want to run straight from the gutter of the greenhouse straight along there is a slight slope there a very slight to the center from the top of that um, but I want to leave this area free so we can get to the spout so I don't want to run straight across because it'll be in the way so I'm thinking maybe of coming along with a pipe to the edge along the back and then to the center so it leaves this middle area accessible now a little bit of a problem with the back of the greenhouse which Ideally, I want water from both sides to, to fill this up, but this side, obviously it's not connected to the other side. This side here. So what I will need to do, which I have got a plan for, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, but we'll try, is to link the two up. Somehow like that with a couple of corners. So these are the corners that I've made out of that um, trunking. Um, what I've basically done is I've used an angle grinder just to cut along and cut a bit of a shape out. So if I can show you that, they will fit together something like that and make a corner. Um, what I'm probably going to do now is rivet, drill a hole, rivet these two together and then I will need to seal them with a mastic or something to stop the water leaking out. So to show you the corners in place. So what I've done is just bent out the corners, the sides a bit so when they fit in, they sort of slide in and they're quite firm. And this side's not quite so firm. But what I might do is might rivet these in as well. They intend to have that riveted under there. And then this side's riveted there. So hopefully that'll firm it all up and then I can seal it all. So for anyone who hasn't used a riveter before, they're quite good fastenings as you can see. They make quite a strong connection really, little rivets. So all you do is you get some rivets. These are four mil ones. Ideally you'd use a 4.1 drill bit with it. So it leaves enough space for the rivet to go through the hole but obviously I haven't got a 4.1, so I use a four and I just wiggle the drill bit around a bit and it makes the hole a bit bigger. Um, I then, once I've drilled the holes like here, I just use a bigger drill bit just to remove any burrs that might be on the holes from drilling through. You sometimes get a few spiky bits from where you've drilled it. Once you've done that, all you do is quite straightforward. You line the hole, two holes up that you want to rivet. So you want to rivet this bit to this bit. Get the rivet all the way through, nice and firmly like that. And this is a manual rivet gun. You can get air rivet guns, um, which make it a lot easier. But this one's just a cheap, cheap one. The end of the rivet goes in there like that. That's all the way down. And just pump away. Sometimes it takes one long go, like that one did. Sometimes it takes two. And what you're left with is rivet nicely in the hole like that. Nice and firm. Squishes this end so it keeps it tight. And all you're left with is the metal bit that was pulled out of it. So I'll do the other one now as well. So again, a four mil rivet. Holes a bit tight, so I'll make this one a bit bigger. Just like that. Prove it neat, it slides nice and tightly in then. This 
one of these two. There it goes. Bit falls out. Nice strong connection. And this is it in place, so I've riveted it all together. As you can see, it's much more stable. A little glue gun to the outside. Just for now, it's a bit of added strength, but I will go back and silicon all the inside edges at a later date. Um, level wise, at the moment, it's all perfectly level, but ideally, you'd have a bit of a slant on it, so I may need to just adjust the footings of it slightly so it raises the corner up and raises that side up. So, so I've just added a bit of water in this gully. Yeah, it seems to be flowing. You can see the water doesn't quite want to get over this little bump. Even the rivets, look. The top of the rivets are dry, but the water's definitely above the rivets. So we can always help it a little bit, as this is just a test. There it goes, and it carries on. And it is flowing, although it's all level. As you can see, there you go. And I put a little mesh filter here to stop any big leaves going down the pipe. So we'll see how that works. It's a bit of an experiment, but with a few leaves there, I can just clear these out every every once in a while, I suppose. That might be the answer. Um, and all I did was use the same metal trunking. I just shaped it with a hammer around a pipe to make it round, so it would go onto this tube. A couple of Jubilee clips, and then I put in a, an aluminium mesh filter the worst of it out the tanks. So what I've done now, I've just put in some piping with some corners. And the only thing is it doesn't work. Um, there's not enough of a lean to get the water down the pipe. So as you can see this corner's sticking up a little bit. I can probably drop that bit. I can probably lower this a little bit. Do a little bit of a half inch gap under there. I can probably lower that. And the only other thing I can do, I can't really lower the butt anymore because of getting a water in town underneath it. So the other thing to do is raise the greenhouse slightly, which is quite feasible to do. We've got another base there, that square rectangular one. Could easily slot under this one, so might be what we have to do, give us an extra four, five, six inches or so and then that will be plenty of a drop. So as you can see the greenhouse has been moved temporarily while we slot in another base All for another five inches of extra slope. So this is the finished greenhouse being raised up as you can see I've got a nice slant now a nice slant on the back and now a nice slant to the tank so much better and while I was at it I made it so it would slope much more on each of the sides you can see it's a nice nice lean now as you can see there's still a leak but I haven't siliconed any of it yet so I've just used hot glue, which would not be sufficient to seal it. So I used some silicon, but as you may be able to hear in the background, that is getting filled up now. Perfect. Um, now this one is from the shed, so it's already plumbed in. And we've had quite a bit of rain lately, but these are barely full because I didn't have them plumbed in at the time. So there's hardly got anything in it, maybe this sort of level. So hardly any water pressure. 
but I'm going to turn it on. As you can see, that's not too bad. Um, I think once it gets a bit more height, a bit more water in it, the pressure will push it out a lot quicker. Um, if we compare this to this one, which I put in a few years ago, I'll show you how quickly that fills up. There you go, this is probably less than 10 seconds. All I've done is got a couple of mesh filters, one there. And off the gutter there's one in there. I don't know how well you can see that. So it's the only one this takes to fill up. 